Here's a here's a Yahoo that I have for you boys. You want to hear it? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Tiffany Larson sent this one in. Thank you, Tiffany. It's Yahoo Answers user Anna T. Another 0% best answers. They've had an account for six years. I still haven't gotten it quite right. Uh, they ask, I walked on the beach today. Seagull-like bird flew by and hit me on my right cheek, then flew away. Lots of people saw that. What's meaning? Uh, and then update, walked on the beach today. Seagull-like bird flew by and hit me on my right cheek, then flew away. Many people saw that. What could it be? Wait, what? So they Wait, say what? if a bird poops on you, mm -hmm. right? it's good luck. But I've never like gotten pooped on and been like righteous it's always nice. a bad th it's always a bad thing to have poop <laughs> right there on you um what is the me what is the significance if you're just walking on the beach by the way i don't know how much humor we're going to be able to squeeze out of this one except for the mental image of you walking on the beach with your friends just having a good day um and you've got you you got the banana boat on you baby and you smelling so good and the ocean's looking good and it's a crystal clear sky um, and you're just having good times with your friends and you've got the music to and then a bird flies into your fucking grill. A bird flies See, into your face and flies off. What's the meaning now, of Griffin, this? Griffin, you pictured a bird flying into this person's face. I pictured a seagull-like bird with just like a whole bunch of rude dude flying by and just slapping them Slapping with them on the face. Like, <laughs> Another possibility. What is the meaning of this? Maybe you had a fly on your face. It's not probably it. If and it's the bird was trying to help. If it's good luck to have poop on you from a bird, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what if the bird flies into you and attacks your head area? <laughs> maybe you, you had some, maybe you had some food on your face, mm -hmm. and um, the bird like was just so excited about your like leftover funnel cake hanging on the corner of your mouth there that he didn't stop to consider the consequences of falling into your face in front of all your friends. It's possible. Um, Yahoo Answers user James says, this happened to me when I wore a hat made from chips. My penis, my <laughs> penis, ah, 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 my penis was not visible. Thank you, James, for this. What? what? Anonymous user says, your head is so large that the bird couldn't miss it when he tried to fly past you. So a very nice burn there from this user to another stranger on the internet. Okay. I bet this happens to Sully all the time. Oh, you think? I bet Sully cannot walk on a beach without just getting shadracked mm -hmm. by a, a flotilla a big, big bunch of, of birds. angry birds seeking retribution. Think of the stories they must tell. He killed our brethren yeah. with a giant machine that is an aberration to our kind meant to give humans our power yeah it's a sky game it is a it is a and cruel mockery of the metal god bird the metal god bird he kill he uses that machine to kill our kind and then like doesn't die doesn't die and that's heroic to them and you know i also keep in mind it's it's very impressive because these angry birds they had to get the angle right and they had to make it past like rocks and mountains and stuff to hit him in the face like that. And, you know, maybe you didn't get it on the first try. Maybe there was, like, a one of the birds had to boomerang back. Or there was, like, an exploding bird or something, you know? Mm. I'm just you saying that maybe we could do, like, whatever that Sully Sullenberg movie was mixed with the Angry Birds movie crossover. That's event. fun. Tra um, Travis, if you think that they're going to play my theme music and I'm going to run into the <laughs> ring to save you with a with a folding chair on this fucking Angry Birds bit. You have not been following my character you arc. You introduced it, Justin. You brought up the phrase Angry Birds, and I was trying to stem the yeah, flood of you. Yeah, Justin, you Just... said the Manchurian Candidate-style passphrase that sent Travis into the, another, his, like, fourth completely Listen, wild boys, rant of the episode. Boys, we've been doing this show for 342 episodes now. I have gotten very good at recognizing what's going to be the thing that was casually mentioned that then we get a hundred tweets about like, well, I can't believe you guys didn't make an Angry Birds joke after just said the phrase Angry Birds. I know what those are now. And I'm trying, I'm I'm doing this as a service. Yeah. I, do I think, I didn't think that Angry Birds thing was funny. I, I know. Listen, I'm looking at my writing team, like they're shrugging. We know it wasn't funny. Yeah. But we're doing this for the listeners, Griffin, for the listeners. Are we going to even try to figure out the significance of if a bird flies into your fucking face while you're having a fun day with your kids at the beach? Is it no. good luck, bad luck? When Randy Johnson threw the ball that made the bird explode and brought joy to America forever. 
Mm -hmm. What was the significant? Is that extremely bad? Like, if a bird poops on you, the bird has exerted dominance over you. And thus, as a re reward for that shame, you get good luck. If you throw a 104 mile two seam fastball that makes a bird <laughs> die forever, um, you knock it so, you fucking blast that shit so hard, you knock it out of the karmic life cycle. And it's dead forever because you blew it up with your awesome fastball. That's probably pretty bad luck, right? Well, that's the thing. I'll, I'll answer the first, uh, second one first. And that is that they actually checked the rules and he hit that bird and automatically lost that game. Oh, like, interesting. That was a was, loss. It was an old archaic rule. It was kind of that like, you know, it doesn't say dogs can't play basketball kind of moment where it's like, well, he hit the bird so the game's over. I think if a bird flies into your face... It is luck neutral in that I think it resets your luck to zero. Hmm. Like it, 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 whatever your luck was at prior to that, maybe you were having a lot of good luck or you're having a lot of bad luck. If a bird runs into your face, <laughs> it starts you back at, at like at yeah. zero. Hey, Travis, you've just given me an idea for a film. Uh huh. And it's, it's kind of like a, Kind of like a spiritual sequel to Angels in the Outfield. Um, uh -huh. And it's about a bunch of birds that want to help the... Is there the Cardinals, right? That's a bird baseball team. That makes sense. They want to help the Cardinals win the World Series. And so <laughs> what they do is they get together like hundreds of them, right? Mm -hmm. And then they all just fly to be exploded by uh, errant pitches <laughs> so that the St. Louis Cardinals keep winning their way until they get the pennant. And it's I think it's, I think it's called Pigeons in the Strike Zone. Yeah. Now, the scene where they um, have to draw the short straw takes about 35 minutes because their beaks are not designed. And they keep eating the straws because they love it. They love the straw, so they yeah. eat it and they can't tell. Right. And when they get to the playoffs, there's no pigeons left. There's no Cardinals pigeons have left. They have to do it on their own. All the yeah. pigeons are dead. Fucking. If the incredible Burt Wonderstone had been 90 minutes of Randy Johnson <laughs> <laughs> annihilating <laughs> that bird. <laughs> Over and over again on a loop, it would have had more thematic, more, it like would have had more artistic value than I bet the actual film did. Um, um, it might be fine. Hey, I have a question for you guys. Yeah, birds versus humans. Yeah, mm -hmm. the war has as old as time immemorial, yeah. right? <clears throat> yeah. Who's winning right now? So, because I was trying to do a tally in my head. Yeah. Um, that like Sully. That's a draw. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a that one's a draw. Bird versus Fabio on roller coaster. See that bird versus Fabio is where my mind went immediately. And I think that tells you why the humans are gonna take this thing. Um uh because they got together, there's their big strategy meeting, and they're like, uh, we helped the Cardinals win the the pennant and like got no thanks for how many good, good bird lives we sacrificed uh in, in doing so. So I think we need to take them down a peg. What should we do? And they're like and there's one mean pigeon, one very angry bird who's like, oh, God, sorry, who's like, um, what if we take down their most beautiful person? That would teach them a lot. And so they think, like, by taking out Fabio, they're going to deal some sort of big, um, you, you know, yeah, emotional it's, it's a, blow to us or something. It's a symbolic. Victory, Little do they know, really. he's, he's a he is a fake butter man joke to me. <laughs> Do you think that birds see humans paddling around lakes in swan boats and they're just like fucking disgusted by that? That yeah. it's just it's like repellent. so taunting and it's just a mo like we we climb inside you and paddle around our our lakes in you. Ha <laughs> ha! It's just it must be such an insult. Yeah. That, that so that's a that's definitely a symbolic victory for us. That cancels out with Fabio. That so that's equal. Us eating them. That's a big one. We're I good at that. Like that's yeah. like a, we're mm -hmm. good at that. But they did swine flu. No, 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 bird flu. <laughs> Shit. They <laughs> did it. bird flu. Yeah. Not even swine flu, really. They did bird flu. So that was like, I think those two cancel out. Shitting on us. Yeah. We mm -hmm. don't really we have. We don't really reciprocate that one. If any animal shits on you, you're mad. That sucks. Mm -hmm. How could yes. you? If a bird shits on you, there's a part where you're like, that must have been really hard, and I can't do anything about it. Yeah. Nice. Like, you got me. You got me. You got me good. I would also like to point out that we as humans fling bread and bird seed to them. We set up bird. We are giving them yeah, ammunition cool. with which to shit on us. Like, we um, are helping them refill their tank yeah. to shit on us later. Um, anonymous Yahoo user says, 
Uh, Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds. Sounds like it's the start of a problem. One of my favorite old movies, though. I haven't seen The Birds, but I imagine that movie's like four minutes long, and it's like some birds start acting a fool, and it's like... Oh, no. Well, no, actually, we're okay. It's just birds. Oh, a bunch of birds are flying over here. Oh, that, well, I mean, that'll be inconvenient, I suppose, but it is birds. Oh, they're gonna nip at us with their little beaks. Well, that, I'll fucking punch them if they do. Like, I'll use my human body and, like, I guess nets? Like, nets, they don't- they, they really can't do shit about nets or, um, guns or, like, there's probably some sort of poison aerosol spray I can just blast these birds with and- just like They are just- they're just- it's- here they come. It's birds, right? Yeah, it's birds, but there's like a hundred of them. I think I'm- you don't, I think I'm still good? Don't you think there was one moment during the production of the film where someone went up to Alfred Hitchcock and they were like, um, Alfred, people's houses are made of bricks and stuff mm, and yeah. concrete. And he was like, how dare you? They're not here in this sleepy New England town. They all it's live all, in gingerbread houses. They live in gingerbread. They're made of fucking Captain's Wafers crackers. <laughs> and the birds just go hog wild. I, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, welcome to another episode of Now You Saw It. Um, I'm going to give away the supernatural twist because it sounds like neither one of you have seen the birds. In the oh, end, yeah. it's uh, just an army of ostriches show up. And they're like, oh, fuck. And then it's just, it's over at that still point. Think like, we I just could, weren't yeah. ready for it. I still and think Bruce, I could, And Bruce I, Campbell cocks his shotgun. He's like, it's on turkeys. And, and then, then it's who, like, who steps, sequel, who steps, two. who steps up behind him is fucking Randy Johnson. He's like, let's do this, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Together. <laughs> my my long lost brother that we just found out about a little bit ago. Let's do it. Could God make a bird so big that Randy Johnson couldn't explode it with an awesome two scene fastball? <laughs> No. Next question. Wouldn't you love to see Randy Johnson fucking come a fastball at an ostrich, and then the ostrich is like, Ugh, what the fuck? <laughs> Randy? Randy? I thought we were cool. You what rode me fuck? to get here. <laughs> That's gonna bruise. <laughs> You know, all birds have to give Randy Johnson a ride wherever he wants. <laughs> well, they're roommates, in my mind. He fucking, he that fucking night, catches them in a net like that, a little prince. That night, after the game, he got, like, some sort of weird membership card <laughs> made, made out of, like, woven, like, reeds. Hey, hey honey, what's this coin underneath my pillow? <laughs> Honey, what's this gold medallion? Did you leave this golden coin under this pillow? Hey, ba hey, baby, I got- I threw the- you- It was weird about that pitch at the game yesterday, huh? Anyway, I found this pendant that when I wear it, I can understand the thoughts of birds. What's that all about? <laughs> Apparently, birds are a one-in, one-out kind of scenario, because I killed one, I have to take on his life dance. Baby, oh, this is weird. Look at my baby. Look at my arm. It looks like something's crawling out. Of oh my god, baby, 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 something's happening. He transforms into a bird. That was. <coughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if I That's could really what? create the scene. Just this is an audio medium, and he has a Santa um, Claus like bird transformation. Yes. Okay. Now we're on to something. Um, folks, that's going to do it for us this week. Thank you so much for joining us on our show. 